Yeah, the, the subtlety is that the events function only takes in, uh, hang on, wait, wait, where do we specify it? Uh, yeah, the events function takes in a list of rules and a list of states. It does not take in the step number. We don't track that in the event function. So if we want to keep track of step numbers, we need to change how that works. Well, do we, I, we're going to need it sometime. Okay. I just wanted to check. So I, I can add a third argument that takes in the current step number, but it's going to change how we deal with events. Why? Well, because we're going to have to start, because the, the event function is going to have to start depending on time, which it doesn't do at the moment. But it can just ignore time in most cases. Right. So long as we can thread the time in, I think we're in good shape. Can okay. we? Uh, I th think so, but hang on, let me figure out how this would actually work. Um, yeah, I, I, I just don't, I don't like this whole step count thing because the whole way we like the elegance of the of the current design is that the whole way we deal with evolution is completely independent of the step count. All right, fine. Leave but, it out. Okay. Leave it out. We'll post process it if we have to. Okay. But you, I mean, you see my point, right? That the, the evolution function and the um, event function, they just act on states and rules. No, I understand that. that. I yeah. understand that. I understand that. I mean, we might need another event function that is a, a time dependent event function of some kind. Right. Right. Yes. But okay, fine. Let's just do it that way. All right. Uh, did you update the file? Yeah, so it's in multi-way system uh, dash new dash two. All right. Well, let me move it back into if you if you're confident about it. Let, did you try uh, running it? I, I ran it for the all events list. I, I'm I'm still checking whether it broke anything else. So I don't don't merge it quite yet. Okay. All right. Well, um, keep 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 checking that, and then well, yep. okay. Or well, how much code did you change? Uh, so I basically just changed uh, the way that the events functions are specified for each of the system types. And then there was a little bit of uh, modification of part specifications. Okay. Is, it, is it localized? Cause then I'll go on editing the previous file. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's localized. I can, I can swap things out later. Okay. So you it. think, so right now you've made everything be rule rest instance. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Where, where instance is essentially the input for the rule. Yeah. Let's call it input. That's a better name for it. Yes. Um, you know what? I think we should just do it that way and not worry about, we'll, we'll worry about, uh, and not have this thing that's a post-processing function. I'm just gonna take that out. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go edit my version, the, the new version of the file. Uh, okay. Does that make sense? Or is that? Um, yeah, I think so, I think so. And then um, you're going to tell me where, then I'm going to pull up O2 and then you're going to tell me how to merge them. Right. Okay. I can do that. Just let me know when you are. Uh, okay. I just figured out what I broke with the events graph. Hey, there we go. Are you sure we don't want it rule input rest? That's also reasonable. 
structure. I, I, yeah, I don't Let's mind. Let's do it that way. Let's do okay. it that way. Okay.
my, sorry about that. Did you solve all of this? That's okay. Uh, no, I'm still trying to figure something out. Um, sorry, so I, I, by, by moving the input before the rest, I'm having to change a bunch of part specifications. It's, um, I just need to figure out what I did before. Okay.
Okay. It's updated to the new scheme and I extended it to the Wolfram model case as well. Okay. Still testing some things, but seems to work. What? Oh, is it called all states list? Yes. Okay, just a minute. Give. I am supposed to go and get some dinner in a few minutes. I will not be that long. Okay. Um, uh, actually, I should probably do the same. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, it's later for you. Um, yeah. um, but the one thing that I really, really, really want to get to is event selection function. Yep, okay. Well, let's let's um, do that. And uh, Okay, let, let me go ahead and insert your new code. I've just been cleaning up a little bit of this, um, okay. this stuff here. Okay, let's go back. So where is your code? So the so the modifications have been made to, uh, in dash two, yeah, in uh, dash new dash two. Um, and so the things you should update are the expansions for particular system types. Um, just a minute, just a yep. minute, just a minute. Sure. Um. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so in here, uh, if you go to, if you see expansions for particular systems types where we have the get string replacement events, get list replacement events, those, all okay. those things, those have to be updated. Shall I just update the whole expansions for particular system types? Uh, you can, as, if you haven't modified that, then you can do, yep. Um, and then everything in events list you will also want to update. And that should be everything. I think. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, let's go down here then. And you say, I do this. Hunky dory. Okay. So now if I say states graph, no, I want to do actually what I want to do. That's not relevant anymore. Let's just check that this still works. Okay, so this causal graph should be different. I mean, the labels will be different. And they are. Okay, so now the one issue that we have here is in causal graph and other things we are... Okay, so... Evolution causal graph should still work. Yes, it does. Um, so in fact, this vertex labels thing, that's where we have to focus on, because what we've got here is a state graph labels. So let's look at, Okay, so states graph use no labeling. 
Okay, so this is um, event node labeling. And that's the case where we should be using What's the case? What's the graph we want? We want evolution. Evolution causal. events graph. Or causal. Okay. But events graph is probably simpler. Okay. So that uses no labels. And so now we say state graph labels. Arrow automatic. Oh, come on. Okay, so that doesn't work. So in the evolution events graph, state graph labels is not working. Right. Um. I don't think I ever hooked that up. Okay. All right. Okay. So hold on a second. So then we want, okay. So this is now done. So the next issue is state graph labels and event graph labels. So those are for state graphs and event graphs. That is the labeling. Right. right? Um, okay, so for state graphs, I put in, and I have to leave in a second here. Um, all right, I, I'll disappear. I will be back in about an hour, I would think. Okay. Um, and then, um, so I can call you when I am back. Sure. And then, then um, if we have a if, if we have a chance to think about. Okay, so these are the things: state graph labels, event graph labels, include initialization events. You didn't deal with that yet, did you? No, not yet. Okay, and we need yeah. sort of an idea for that. Right. I mean, we, then, we will have to include them kind of for, impl for implementational purposes. It will be, a, you know, that will be a remove them if unnecessary kind of thing. Well, but you've, you've got certain initialization events now, but they're kind of funky. I, I'm, actually, saying, yeah. I'm saying we, we need those initialization events in order to do the implementation. Fine. Fine. But, but we can we can have a thing which just removes them afterwards if they're done. Right, right, right. The only question is what should they look like if we have them? Right. Because right now they're this very bizarre null goes to null. What are you doing in the Wolf model case? It's also not it means empty list goes to empty list. Okay. So there's no yeah, basically no hyper edges goes to no hyper edges. Okay, but again, just for one second here, what do we think is the logical thing to actually put in there? Um, so what we're doing is the initialization event is what creates the initial condition. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, that is a rule. I mean, <laughs> blank, it's the creation is, of the universe. It's, 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 it's yeah. the nothing goes to something rule. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that, that's what I suggested earlier. We have just an X near hello sort of, you know, empty list goes to initial condition. Well, that assumes that before the beginning of everything, there's an empty list. Right. I think we want to say, I think we want to say um, something like initial state arrow, quotes initial state or something, or some symbol. What could it be? What could the symbol? None. None goes to whatever. None or null? No, no, that's the initialization event. Right. That's the beginning of the universe. Null, I'm telling you, if the code suddenly spills out, it'll say it'll be full of null goes to whatever. Right. Yeah, that's okay. what we should do. That's, that's the initial event. Right. Um, okay, I, I'm happy to do that. Fine, if you can, okay. Well, okay, so in about an hour, let's reconvene and um, 
we can uh, take it from there. I'm looking forward to this. I think I think once we get the um, uh, yeah um, um, okay. Um, um, yeah, hold on a second. Let me just think for a second. So, yes, I mean, the other thing, the thing that we were mainly doing here was trying to think through the quantum mechanics yeah, all right. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Okay. I all will right. talk to you in a bit. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye.